This is why I can't do chit chat get ready with me because there's no get ready with me. It's just the chit chat. <laughs> Don't take advice from people that aren't in the position that you want to be. God has a plan and you're going to achieve that plan regardless. Like. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Kim with the K. Come to you guys with a new video. So if you can tell by the title, today is Vlogmas. It's the first day of Vlogmas. I'm super excited. I am going to be spilling the tea on what I'm going to be talking about during Vlogmas, kind of what my video vibes are going to be. It's not going to be only holiday and festive inspired. Of course, of course, I will definitely do some holiday inspired like home decor updates and things of that nature and decorating for Christmas and all the things that we love about the Christmas and holiday season. Honestly, Christmas is my favorite holiday of the whole year besides my birthday. <laughs> I said what I said. But a little bit about me before I get into it because there may be some new people. Hi, hello. I'm an attorney, I'm a content creator, I'm an influencer, I'm a YouTuber, entrepreneur. I love everything about social media and the influencer marketing space. With my attorney hat, I help other influencers, content creators, and entrepreneurs navigate the contract space with brand deals, talent management deals, all types of things. Really, my main area is contracts in the influencer marketing industry, but influencer marketing is so broad, so there's so many areas that I am more than happy to spill the legal tea, as I like to put it. If you want more information on that, definitely make sure you guys head over to the legal tea social on Instagram. And of course, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Cameron Monet, so you guys can get daily updates even before YouTube videos. Now, I'm just saying, I'm always on Instagram stories, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you already, hello, then you already know what, um vlogs and videos I'm gonna do. So that is a long intro, intro. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. I need to put this hair back. Honestly, my hair is done for. It's time to wash hair, but I'm getting a sew-in, y'all, which you will see during Vlogmas. Um, I haven't had a sew-in in so long, but honestly, it's like perfect timing because girl, I ain't trying to do too much of my hair if I gotta upload all these videos. So for those that don't know, Vlogmas is when you upload a vlog, a daily video from the 1st of December until the 25th of December. At first, I was gonna just do like just a couple days, maybe like four or five days, like just, I was saying Sunday through Thursday videos, but you know what? I'm gonna try to do every single day. Um, there will be a lot of pre-recorded videos because of that, but I am going to guarantee that y'all will get two vlogs per week, two vlogs per week, and there may be some more sprinkled in there, and I'm like, ooh, I'm feeling inspired to daily vlog today. So I'm doing like a bootleg version of Vlogmas. So today's video, day one, I'm just doing a chit chat update. I'm gonna answer some of your questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. It's not about the makeup, but I will leave links if I remember, editing Cameron. <laughs> if I remember, I will leave links and information on the products. So, I'm looking at my notes, y'all, because I got Vlogmas all planned out. I will be doing a video on how I plan and organize my content and just my life running other businesses, such as the Legal Tea Social and so many other things that I do and things that I haven't announced yet. Um, but yeah, so, my eyebrows are done. My skin is kind of acting like it has no, no sense, but it doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't look that bad, so I'm not mad at it. And also, don't look at my nails. I'm getting them done very soon in preparation for Vlogmas. I've been talking for four minutes. See, this is why I can't do chit chat get ready with me because there's no get ready with me. It's just the chit chat. <laughs> okay, so life update. Um, What's going on in my life that y'all need to be updated, okay? Because y'all be in my business. Not too much, honestly. I really don't have a ton of things going on, which, you know, is a pro and a con. Just work stuff, really trying to be in alignment with what my purpose is, what's my next best move kind of vibe because I have a few huge goals for 2022 which I will be sharing in one of my vlogmas videos and things like that but honestly y'all I was just feeling like I just want to create like I think ever since I went full-time for those that know, don't know I used to work at a law firm in employment litigation loved it still love employment law but I love social media and influencer marketing more one I am a creator I consider myself a creator first so like I'm literally doing brand deals with y'all. Like we all are doing brand deals and I'm able to spill the legal tea in y'all's ear about like contract terms and clauses and ways to negotiate. Like I think negotiating is such a, like I would almost argue one of the number one strategies that you need to have as an influencer. I feel like I'm back in my creative groove and that's gonna lead me into TikTok, right? So I was doing like a, a series on TikTok, but I think I'm gonna put it on um, my Instagram, The Legal Tea Social. Basically, I want TikTok to be a fun place and I'm just gonna have fun. So if you want to see some like fun content, like 
Ciao. Follow me on TikTok. I will also be doing a version of Vlogmas on TikTok, but mostly just like daily vlog stuff. So if you do want that daily vlog feel, they're going to be short form videos, of course, because it's TikTok. But you can follow me over there. But yeah, so life update, focusing still on work. I'm so glad I feel better after falling. Y'all got to catch up on the vlogs. Y'all catch up on the vlogs. Your girl fail. A video for Instagram. Did you see? Do y'all hear this story she told me after I almost fell and died? Y'all. Y'all, look at, look at this. Let me show them. Y'all. The lighting is bad. Is it? Look at my hair. Is it still bad? Well, some people are squeamish. Oh, that is true. But there's no blood. Okay, here's a, um, a what you call it? Uh, warning, warning. Trigger warning. Alert. I can't. Okay. I fell. And I feel so much better. But it also put things in perspective for me. Which is why I probably don't have much of a life update. Because I was like, I need to just slow down. I don't need to do 75,000 things. I need to pick and choose and be more strategic. And get other people's opinions out of my head. Like, I feel like that's always in all of these videos. Like, I'm constantly saying, like, focus on you. Like, forget what everybody else is saying to a certain extent. And there was a quote that said something like, don't listen to people. Or don't take advice from others if they're not doing what you want to do. And or it was something like, don't take advice from people that aren't in the position that you want to be. Something like that. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. And I was like, oh, wow. Not me asking opinions from people that don't even know the sauce of the Kool-Aid. Like, what was it saying? <laughs> people be like, you don't even know the flavor of the Kool-Aid and you in my business. Something, I don't know, child. That was like back in the day. But just slowing down, really. Slowing down to speed up. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I realize I don't have to be, I don't know, like, Doing 75,000 things, y'all. I swear you don't. Just specialize in a few things and you will be fine. Also, since I've been doing therapy, back again with BetterHelp, y'all. I'll leave a link if you guys wanna check them out. Since I've been back doing therapy, I'm realizing I'm still like rushing and like feeling like I need to do so much because I have this fear of like, I'm gonna be broke and I'm gonna go like, I ain't grow up with money, okay? Let's just keep it a thousand. So I have this fear of like, I'm going to go back to poverty, like I don't know. And I'm finally in a place, I wouldn't say like I'm, I'm clearly, I'm, let me say this. I'm not where I wanna be, okay, not even close, but I'm good, right? Like I'm good, I can pay my bills, I'm not worried, like I feel good, like I have consistent income to a certain extent, of course, like being an influencer is not as consistent, even just being an entrepreneur in general, but like I feel good. So why am I still rushing and running against a clock that doesn't exist? <laughs> like it's so crazy how, we set up these expectations for ourselves that don't even matter and don't even exist. Like there are some things, yes, you need to have goals. You need to have like achievements and things that you want to achieve and all of the things like that, right? You want to have overall goals, right? But to get to those goals, you, there's no ticking time clock. Sure. In some scenarios there are, and in some circumstances there are, and we can name several, but generally, why are you rushing? What's, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? God has a plan and you're gonna achieve that plan regardless. Like you just gotta have faith. You gotta listen and take your time. And I really want to be able to achieve all my goals, but still be present in the present, if that makes sense. Cause a lot of goals mean like you're looking towards the future. And sometimes when you're looking so far in the future, you're not even present in the present. Come on somebody, do y'all feel me? I say all that to say, I'm not in a rush. Okay, period. But just know, the things that I'm working on, I'm going to take my time. It's going to be worth it. I'm not gonna rush because I really wanna drop it right now today. <laughs> but there's no reason I need to do all that, right? I really don't. So, I don't know who need to hear that, but take your time. I don't know why we'd be in such a rush. It can't just be me. It's like I'm literally racing against myself. So why am I running and there's no one chasing me? I, weird. Anyway, it was like an epiphany I had in therapy, so I thought I would share. Also, I will be doing a video and vlogmas about like wellness and relaxing because I'm not making cute faces. I don't know how the girls do that. <laughs> but um, I feel like a lot of talk about entrepreneurship and being a content creator and finding your purpose and passion is all built around. And this is not all, I'm not saying like, no one ever talks about this. Like I cringe when people say that, like I say it too sometimes. Like I know people rarely talk about this, but like people do talk about it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, but I feel like a lot of the conversation about entrepreneurship and stuff is around like being a girl boss, productivity, how 
waking up at 5 a.m., blah, 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 which I think is so important. And you need to have that conversation. We need that. Like, that's all extremely important. But also, wellness is important. Also, and I'm not saying people don't talk about y'all. I'm just saying, like, come on, somebody. But <laughs> wellness and relaxation and building relationships and being present in the present, all those things are so important, too. And honestly, like, I can be a better me when other areas of my life also are doing good. I don't know how to explain it. I hope that makes sense. So I do want to talk more about that. Like how I'm able to maintain juggling quite a bit of things is because like I also try to have self-care days. I try to pour into myself. I try to rest when I need it and take a break when I need it and pray every day and rely on my support system when I can and things like that. Like it's all a balance, but I'm still able to be a girl boss, period, and get things done by, um, you know, maintaining good routines and good habits and things like that. I think something else we're seeing like in social media, like with that girl trend, like that girl, I know y'all have seen that, where basically it's like, they get up early and drink their green smoothie and working out and da da da. And honestly, it's, I love the trend as long as like people understand what it really means. It means finding routines that work for you so that you can be the best version of you. So you can be supreme productivity for you, insert your name. Like it's, and it doesn't mean you have to do exactly those steps, but just having a routine in general really does help. Like, even if you're like, I don't want to be a workout guru, I don't want to, just walk a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just take a little stroll. It's okay, so, for real. I'm telling you, it will change your life. Like, and you may get into it. You may find other hobbies that you like. If you're like, you know what? I'm just going to, instead of scrolling online, I'm going to watch a movie, watch a new genre of movie. I'm going to read a new genre of a book. I don't know. I'm just, maybe it's because I'm getting older, y'all. I'm 28, okay? But I've just been really thinking about like, what do I want right now? Not in the future. What do I want right now? Let me be okay with what I'm doing right now. Baby steps towards the future, but I ain't got to think too hard about it. You know? You know? I don't know what this chit chat to turn into, but we going with it. <laughs> um, um, so also with Vlogmas, I'm going to be talking about, oh wait. So somebody did have a question I'm going to go ahead and answer in this video. It said, why did I decide to stay in Alabama? So here's a quick backstory. I'm originally from Flint, Michigan. A1O, what's good, murder mitten. <laughs> um, also, I was born in New York, fun fact, in Manhattan, exactly. And I moved to Georgia for undergrad. I went to Kennesaw State University. I majored in political science with a minor in criminology. I'm looking down so I can get my little powder so I can set this. Um, and then I went to law school. So I graduated. High school in 2011, I graduated college in 2015, and I graduated law school in 2019 from Cumberland School of Law, Stanford University, okay? Period, so that's my backstory. I took the Alabama State Bar, I took the Alabama State Bar in 2019, right after I graduated, I passed it the first time, thank you Jesus, okay? And um, I was sworn in, all that good stuff, so I am a licensed attorney, I pay my license myself, um, I actually got my job offer while I was still in law school at the firm that I previously worked at, doing employment litigation. Great, excellent, did the whole thing. Decided I wanted to leave September 2020, put in my resignation, and that was that. And I was a a free bird, child, a free bird. I had no idea what I want. I, you know, I had a general idea of what I wanted to do when I quit, but it changed a lot over the year. But I feel so much more. I feel so much better now. Like I have so much more clarity. Anyway, so that is the backstory. On that I decided to stay in Alabama for various reasons one I got a job offer I always thought I would go back to Georgia um, since that's where I went to college and I feel like that was like I didn't really get to experience Georgia like I want to because I was in college and just growing up I don't know now I feel like when you're in your older adult years like older late 20s and stuff like that like it's just a different experience than when you're like fresh out the womb <laughs> I feel like when you're like fresh out of high school and like, wow, world, I don't know. So I feel like I really didn't get experience Georgia, so I was like, I'm definitely gonna go back. But got a job offer, that was that. Also, I met my boyfriend, so that was that. I met my boyfriend my first year in, under, uh, in law school. And yeah, the rest is history. We are going into our, will be four years, February, 2022. So that's that, he's a year ahead of me. He was a year ahead of me in law school. So he has practiced a year more than I. So that's that. I'm trying not to tell all his business, but yeah. So that's that. This will not be a family channel. This is not a couple channel. And that's that, okay? Just know I have a boyfriend, period. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see him every once in a blue, but, um, and he may 
have some appearances like he has on my YouTube channel every once in a while, but um, I don't, I doubt that we'll be doing like video videos personally. Um, that's just not the trajectory that I really want for my channel. Mm -hmm. So that's that. <laughs> so that's why I say in Alabama. And also let's, let me be, okay. Am I gonna tell y'all? Yes. Okay, y'all, here's the real tea. Hold on. The real tea is, okay, as a content creator, you wanna work with brands, right? That's the goal. There's other goals, but that's quite a large goal. So, if you're in Atlanta, which is a huge city with huge influencers, right? You're more of a small fish in a big pond in Atlanta. Catch my drift? In Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama, I'm more of a big fish in a small pond. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not like throwing shade. It's literally like, I love Birmingham. Honestly, I get the city vibe without the Atlanta traffic. I still have amazing community here with content creators, with lawyers, and all the things like I really love. Birmingham, I fell in love with it. It literally caught me off guard. Like, oh my God, I love the city. Like, where? <laughs> and um, I love that I'm close enough where if I do want to go to Atlanta, I can. I can just get on a plane if I need to go somewhere else. I don't mind driving. I love a good road trip. I, I've driven to Michigan. I've driven to Texas. I've driven to Florida. I've been to Miami. All the places, like, I can go. <laughs> um, I just like Birmingham. I really do. So, that's another reason. I've gotten some amazing opportunities. I'm not saying that I wouldn't get those opportunities if I was in Atlanta, but I do think... Being a smaller creator in a smaller city than like a big city like Atlanta, New York, California, etc., makes it a little bit easier for me to work with like bigger brands that might not necessarily think of me, but if they have an opportunity like, oh, we're opening a store in Birmingham, let's look up Birmingham hashtag, it's more likely for me to come up because it's less, it's a smaller city. That makes sense? And there's some amazing, phenomenal creators here like it people sleep on Birmingham like oh my goodness like it's not what I expected like, I'm thinking like mm, it's Alabama and I'm black like you know, I was scared a little bit but it's it's not like that and there's areas like that across the country right it doesn't matter where you live there's going to be all types of racial issues let's just keep it a thousand that's just what it is it's not just Alabama okay but it's definitely a concern and there's definitely cities that I'm like you will not catch me at night you just won't, I'm not going there, no. It's not giving what's supposed to give. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. It's gonna be, it's giving very much get out. If you've seen the movie, you know, you know. Um, but aside from that, if you know where to go, you have a community, you're gonna have a great experience in any city. And Birmingham has just been really good to me. Yeah, it's crazy. I just am so thankful. Like, I just can't even believe it. Just all worked out. Cause I almost didn't go to school here. And also Cumberland gave me a decent scholarship. Um, so. That was that. What else I wanna talk about? I do wanna do some giveaways during Vlogmas, but I'm not going to like put it in the title. So you have to watch the videos to know, but I'm definitely giving away like Dermalogica, that is my favorite skincare set. I'm gonna be doing some gift cards and things like that. Just some of my favorites and I definitely wanna give back to y'all. Like, thank you, thank you. Some of y'all have been writing with me since 2014. Like when, a, when your good sis was doing her hair bootleg, like, cause I didn't know what I was doing. And or like when my affordable week series videos or like when I first started law school, like they're so, many memories on my YouTube channel and so many of y'all have been along with me during that journey. It's just, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whenever I think about it, I feel like sometimes we all get caught up. Kind of like I was just saying earlier, like we all get caught up in what's the next milestone? What's the next thing? What's the next this? I'm trying to get to the next da da da, right? But like, wow. When I really think about it, it's like, Regardless of the views, which is annoying, but <laughs> regardless of the views, like 80,000 of y'all decided to click subscribe at some point, right? 80,000, that's crazy. Same on Instagram, like wow, 40,000 of y'all. TikTok, wow, 11,000. Like that's a lot of people, like in a room. And I hear creators all the time, like if you um were in a room full of those people, like you would be nervous. And yeah, yeah, I'd be nervous, but like for me, I would love that. I love speaking, I love, love, love that, but I just really, just want to thank y'all and I I'm really working on just I want to of course grow but I, just, I really am promising myself and I recently made this promise wrote it in my journal and all that y'all and I was like I'm going to nourish the audience I have I'm going to appreciate the comments I have I'm going to appreciate the views that I have like no matter what no matter what like I'm just gonna appreciate that because there's some of y'all that show up every single video and I it does not go unnoticed I actually have like a list 
of people and I'm always conscious, even if I don't respond to every comment, like just know I see it and I appreciate it. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, thank you, thank you so much. I can't even express it. Um, and in the future, I would love to do like in-person things where I can just show y'all even more. So that's why I really want to do a giveaway during Vlogmas. My goal is to do one once a week, but again, it's going to be in like little secret videos. I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all. But if you watch the videos, you guys will know. Um, I also, honestly, it's a lot easier to do them on Instagram. So be sure you follow me on Instagram because um, I'm going to do some over there as well. So I haven't really decided if I'm going to do all of them on YouTube or all of them on Instagram and then like some on YouTube. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on giveaways. And for me, it's not about getting growing. It's I want, I want to give them to people that are actually watching my videos. That's what it's about. Yes, it's great to grow through giveaways and all that, but like I am just going to be giving because I appreciate y'all. Like, thank you for riding with me. Man, there's been days where it was like, y'all just really don't know. Just like y'all say like, thank you camera for this. Like I really needed that. Sometimes your comments, it's like, y'all just don't understand. Like I needed that just to push me, just to remind me that YouTube and social media, it's just more than just working with brands and the numbers. It's about community, right? It's about community. That's why back in the day in 2014, when people weren't really getting paid for this and it was lame and weird to like blog and all of the things and people were embarrassed to do it and all that. Like that was just, we were doing it for fun, right? And I just want to kind of get back to that, which is why I'm using TikTok like that. And I'm just going to have fun. I'm not going to do brand deals over there yet. Just through, like for the next, I don't know, definitely through this month, I don't want to do any. And I took it off my rate sheet and all that. Like I really just want to have fun over there. I need a platform to just have fun and not be pressured into the numbers. So that's my goal over there. And on YouTube, same. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm not going to do any sponsorship on YouTube, but I'm going to be even more picky than I am because I just need to create right now. I think I just need to get out of this. I feel kind of like in a fog. Um, I feel more creative now, but I feel like what I want to do with my channel, I haven't figured out how, how to do it. Like it's, it seems so intimidating. Like, so like, how am I going to do that? Like, I really want to do sit down videos and like informative, but like good quality editing and like c cinematics and I don't know all the terms, child, but I want it to be good. Um, and I think I'm putting too much of a pedestal on that good, like, that I just am blocking myself and not doing it. So I'm going to be doing them in Vlogmas. I'm gonna be doing sit-up videos. Even if it's just me sitting right here, I just need to get my foot in the door and like get the rhythm going. So then 2022, I can really show up and show out on y'all um, with the video. So I'm really using this month to just create and have fun. I do have some partnerships that are already in the works. And if some come along that are, you know, worthy of my audience, then of course I'm gonna share those. But same thing with Instagram. I've just been having fun. I've just been having fun creating again. And honestly, the pressure of not having to get a certain amount of views that it out for money because I have a good source of income right now, I have a couple long-term partnerships going on right now is a blessing. And I'm trying to tell myself like, you can breathe. You don't have to chase the next dollar anymore. Like you're okay. Keep doing what you're doing and focus on the quality of your content. Focus on commenting back. Focus on nourishing your audience and I'm trying to do better with engaging with y'all because I'll read the comment child and I forget to respond child. That's me with text messages. I'm the worst texter. I will read the text, respond, kiki, and never send it. Girl, <laughs> please tell me I'm not alone, okay? Because I feel like I swear I take it back and then, which is why I do like voice messages. I do that in my DMs too because it's just quicker. Um, but I do want to focus more on y'all is what I'm saying because y'all are the reason I was able to quit my whole job. Like, law school Cameron is shook, okay? Do you hear what I'm saying? Law school Cameron, my first year or second year, go back to my law school vlogs, y'all. I'm gonna link one in the cards. If I would have told that girl, like, you are going to be, <laughs> I can't even say it. You're going to be able to quit your nine to five job. First off, you're gonna get a nine to five job. You're gonna get a law firm job. Yes, girl, before you graduated, period, grades, who? Don't matter, cause you put in the work. Like, you did that, sis. Like, I would be shook at just that alone. And then to tell myself, by the way, you're gonna quit that job, the stable job. Also, by the way, it's gonna be a pandemic, but that's a whole nother conversation. I don't wanna scare you. But you're gonna quit that nine to five job and work for yourself full time. 
and you actually were able to do it and pay your bills on time and then towards the end after the year after you hit your one year entrepreneurship i mean girl you were coasting you're good like you were making money yes ma'am you did that period five figure months i see you sis um making more than you did your nine five what i swear cameron I, I know it's crazy law school cameron i know it sounds crazy but like you really did that sis like you pushed through some mental health battles you pushed through losing family members you pushed through so much okay that little spiel is over because I can't cry because I got to get some stuff done. But to law school, Cameron, I'm so proud of you. You're doing an amazing job. You will pass the bar. You will do so much. I'm so proud of you. Wow. I would have never thought because this wasn't a job, right? So even YouTube wasn't a job. Now it is. Influencer marketing wasn't a job. Now it is. To be a digital content creator really wasn't a job. Now it is. Um, being an influencer marketing and social media lawyer wasn't a job. Now it is. There's so many things that are growing and changing in this industry and in this world. Like, find something you love and make it a job. Like, I promise you, you'd be surprised, like, how doors just open. Like, getting paid for speaking engagements. I'm like, what? What? Y'all have, it's just crazy. It's crazy, but it's a good crazy. Like, it's. I feel like my hair looks crazy, <laughs> but I'm just so thankful, y'all. I'm getting emotional because it's just like every time. That's why I can't do chit chat. Get it ready, me, y'all. I'll be woo. Hold on, child. Okay, I'm back. But yeah, I mean, I hope my channel really inspires and motivates anyone. It doesn't matter what career you're in, right? I think I do have a, a large audience that are in some capacity searching for career driven inspiration while still maintaining health and wellness while also enjoying their life i thought i was going to sum up my audience that's what i would say so many of y'all say you're inspired you're motivated like the fact that you see me prioritizing self-care while still working so hard but still prioritizing friendships and having fun but still maintaining a level of productivity that i need to run my businesses like thank you that's the goal, that's what I want. So I'm, I'm excited to continue to do that in so many different ways and forms. I mean, the sky's the limit. I truly believe that and I truly hope y'all know that. I never want to hide like the secret weapon. I think we all can get to the bag. Honestly, like I want more law students to get in this field. Like we need more lawyers in this industry. I want more content creators, especially black creators, period. We need more creators in general. Like there's something that you, if you want to be a creator and it's not everybody's testimony, period. And I get it. Hey, get to the bag other ways. There's so much money out here. But if you want to be a creator, like we need you. You have a certain voice and a certain way you're going to be able to provide value that someone else needs to hear in the way you're saying it. They're not going to hear it from me. They're not going to hear it from other people. They're going to hear it from you. So I don't know. I'm just excited. And I hope you guys are too. And vlogging is going to be great because I get to bring y'all along every day. Hopefully. Hopefully. I will say, um... If I have to miss some days, I'm not gonna be hard on myself, but my goal right now is every day I have a whole calendar of all the videos written out. So, my hair looks right. So, now I just need to record and then vlog. That's it. But yeah, y'all, um, that's really all that I have to say. I hope this was helpful. I also will end all of my Vlogmas videos with an affirmation because usually I only end my vlogs with an affirmation. But all of December for Vlogmas, I do want to leave y'all with an affirmation at the end of each video. So let me put on my mascara and a lippy. So this is the final product. I think it looks super good. Y'all know I love a good natural, no makeup, makeup kind of look. This is like my perfect everyday look. This is my go-to. I love this. My hair looks a little bit crazy, but this is cute. You know, it's giving body, it's giving natural, it's giving cute. It is. I love this look. So I did want to run through um, what I put on Instagram. And I just said like the videos you can expect for Vlogmas. So vlogs, of course, routine videos, productivity tips, holiday home decorating. And speaking of holiday home decorating, I am moving. I'm not going to be doing like an apartment tour or like moving vlogs or anything because personal reasons, but I am moving. So if you guys start to see like different setups or when I do like the home decorating and when I'm vlogging in my apartment, just know I'm, I didn't move. <laughs> um, so it is a bigger space, so I'm really excited, but yeah, that's it. Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm decently private, so that's that. But I did wanna let y'all know I'm moving and I put it at the end of the video for a reason because everybody don't mix it in the video, but if you miss it in the video, you get the royalty, okay? Um, 
Of course, I'm also gonna be talking about the tea on being a content creator, the legal tea on influencer marketing, my opinion on an experience in law school. I forgot to add on there, also we're doing some fashion content as well. So stay tuned for all of that. There may be some days that I upload more than one video just because I have some sponsor stuff that I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to weave in there. And I may just be inspired, like I said, to just daily vlog that day. If I have a pre-recorded video, I need to get up to. It's Content is going to be at y'all in December. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for rocking with your girl for so long. I appreciate each and every one of you. Whether you just click subscribe from this video or you click subscribe years ago, I appreciate you. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to my internet fam, my little corner of the internet. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did enjoy. Leave me some comments down below, some Vlogmas ideas or your excitement about Vlogmas. All of the good things. I'm super excited. Like I'm, I'm actually excited to create, which is so important. So without further ado, let me end the video because y'all know how to talk. Wait, I almost forgot about the affirmation. So if you did make this far in the video, make sure you guys comment below this affirmation. I am so proud of myself. Honestly, when is the last time you looked yourself in the mirror and said that? Say it. I am so proud of myself. Mm, mm. Mm, I know that touched somebody because that just touched me. I need to start adding my affirmations again. I've been, I fell off a little. I used to do them daily in the mirror and I need to get back to it. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that also during Vlogmas and beyond. So I hope y'all felt that. I'm so proud of you. You also need to tell yourself how proud you are of yourself because you deserve, you deserve a little celebration sis. You definitely do. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in Tomorrow's video because it's Vlogmas and y'all gonna get this content every day. Okay, I know you gonna show up. Love you guys. Later. <laughs>